Ah, baseball. It's America's pastime. The fans, the ballparks, and the rivalries. The game so steeped in history. Of course, when it comes to the game's creation, we want a story that's as great as the sport itself. So sit back, relax, grab a beer, and get ready to have your mind blown faster than the Cleveland Indians blew a 3-1 World Series lead. You've heard it since T-Ball. Abner Doubleday is the father of baseball. Heck, Cooperstown pretty much only exists because we all believe Doubleday invented the sport right there in that little hamlet way back in 1839. I mean, come on, the field at the Hall of Fame is called Doubleday Field. Now, it turns out that story's got more holes than Sammy Sosa's corked bat. First off, Doubleday wasn't even in Cooperstown in 1839. He was kind of busy going to West Point. According to one baseball historian, the only real connection between the sport and its so-called founder is a letter he wrote in 1871. In it, Doubleday asked for baseball equipment for the group of African-American soldiers he was commanding. And they were in Texas, not upstate New York. So why does he get all the credit? The truth is, historians don't really know. Instead, we should be talking about a group of guys who basically made the game what it is. Guys like Alexander Cartwright. He designed the diamond, came up with most of the rules, and played in the first recognized game. Then there's Henry Chadwick, a journalist who covered cricket but fell in love with baseball and turned into basically a one-man marketing machine. Then there's Daniel Lucius Adams, who established 90 feet as the distance between the bases and may have invented the shortstop position. But when it comes to baseball, whether it's the babes called shot or the power of a goat, sometimes the myth is better than the truth.